There are two more presets which are unique to the left menu. These are Allow Crossfade to the left and Asymmetric Crossfade to the left. I'm choosing Allow Crossfade to the left first. Doing this removes the crossfade between the two objects, leaving the right object with a fade curve to the left. When using this preset it's best to disable Auto Crossfade mode. Click on the icon to disable. I'm going to move the crossfade for the left object. So now when I move the crossfade for the right object, they both remain linked. You can of course adjust the fades to suit. I'm choosing the sign preset from the left menu. Selecting the left object and clicking on the right menu. I'm choosing logarithmic for that object. Make another adjustment. The second menu item is Asymmetric Crossfade to the left. This lets you adjust the left crossfade independently. Notice the crossfade of the neighbouring object remains unaffected. So these two special left menu items add some extra flexibility when it comes to using crossfades.